time, our next guest was here. True story, she crashed our website because so many of our viewers were logging on at the same time to get all of her amazing tips on how to cut out calories, and I mean lots of them, and fat, and I mean lots of that, without cutting the taste. She made this crazy fettuccine Alfredo that was like two calories. It was insane. Uh, well, she's back. Please welcome back to our show, Hungry Girl, Lisa Lillian. <laughs> It's the absolute truth. The website crashed last time you were here. You were showing people these simple swaps that they could make, this for that, still have the effect of everything from fried chicken to fettuccine Alfredo with a fraction of the calories and a fraction of the fat counts. Exactly. That, is that basically the concept behind Hungry Girl? That is basically the concept behind Hungry Girl. Hungry Girl is a free daily email. I send out tips and tricks, food finds, reviews, recipes, and it's all about finding those decadent foods you think you can't eat when you're watching your weight and then finding ways to eat them for like a tiny, teeny, itty bitty fraction of the calories and fat. She's, <laughs> she is truly a miracle find. We're so thrilled every time she's here. We came up with something that we thought was kind of original. We wanted to take her campaign well to the front lines. We sent Lisa literally into the aisles of supermarkets uh, to stop people from making bad food choices, would you say? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's, I haven't seen the tape yet. I am very excited to see what the hungry girl does when people are out in the aisles. Let's check it out. <laughs> it's, it's 160 calories, but that's, and 17 grams of fat. That's a I lot. Bet. It was a lot. And I like the idea of turkey sausage, but this has 9 grams of fat per length, and which is a little high. And each serving has 160 calories and 10 grams These of fat. These are a little high in fat and calories. What do you use this mayo for? Well, actually, my husband likes mayonnaise. He's the one that cooks, and he makes sauces and things, and he likes real mayonnaise. Well, there's 10 grams of fat per tablespoon. That's a lot. I mean, do you think he'd be open to trying something new? I could try. <laughs> All right, come. This is Dijonese right here. This is a lifesaver. I'm telling you, this is the best creation. Really? Because look, it tastes like mayo and mustard together. Okay. It's creamy, but it has a little bit of the zip of mustard, and it's five calories and no fat for a teaspoon. I'll try. I won't even tell them. Here, it's the fat-free original. Want to try these instead? Okay. But they're great. They have uh, a lot of fiber. Six grams of fiber, but they don't taste like cardboard. Wow. It has 11 grams of fat a serving. This has 1.5 grams of fat. Oh, hold on, hold on one sec. Sorry. Hi there. Hi. I know you're checking out and all, but I can't help but notice all of these fatty ingredients in your cart. And I'm wondering what you're planning to do with all this. My butter? Yeah. And my cream? Butter, I'm going to make cream, a... bacon. I'm going to make a chicken with a delicious butter and cream sauce. And I'm going to make a bacon fried rice. Bacon fried rice. Bacon fried rice. That sounds very calorie packed. Um, would you be open to hearing about a creamy, delicious chicken dish that also has a side dish with bacon in it that has like a tiny fraction of the fat and calories? Sure. Let's do it. Fat free sour cream. As to the creaminess, I promise you it tastes great in this dish. It's fabulous. I see our next item. I want you to use Brummel and Brown. Now, this is the best butter substitute. It has half the calories and half the fat of butter, but it has all the flavor. Will you try this for me? I'll try it. Actually, I know I saw there were chicken thighs in your cart, and I'm going to ask you to use chicken breast in this recipe because it's lower in fat and calories. So we'll get some chicken breast. You know what? It is so easy, but I'm actually going to come to your house, and I'm going to help you cook. Great. That'll be okay. great. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Here goes nothing. Yeah. <laughs> now, I thought that all of the women that you literally ambushed in the grocery store were actually pretty open to it, you know? People, most people hadn't even bothered to look at the labels, and that's the thing that gets me crazy. It's like, just read the label and compare. You can have the same you, amount the of same. popcorn, exactly. 1.5 grams of fat, or 11. I mean, that's an enormous difference. And Huge. It, mm -hmm. And it tastes the same. Um, so Lisa did follow the butter-loving Kathy home. I love butter, too, and bacon, all things in moderation. She gave her a surprise, healthy cooking class. I'm very curious to find out what happens next. I'll show you guys right after this. Okay, so let's see what we're working with here. All right, go to it. Oh, oh. oh. Isn't it oh my gosh. 
17 pounds of butter. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. Okay, we are gonna make mom style creamy chicken and veggies. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, now this is not a complete swap for your delicious creamy chicken, but it's an alternative that's creamy and delicious and I think your family's really gonna like it. My kids will love creamy. Creamy is good. So first we're gonna make the sauce. Now the sauce is made with 98% fat free cream of mushroom soup and about a cup of fat-free sour cream, which adds to the creaminess and the deliciousness. But that mushroom soup is really great. And this is some chopped garlic, about two teaspoons, and a little salt. And that's all that's in the sauce. It's nice and creamy. It is nice and creamy. And again, no butter, no oil. Smells good. But lots of garlic and creaminess. Let's just pop it in the oven at 375 for an hour and then we'll make the potatoes. Okay. We are going to make bacon loaded miracle mashies. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. All right, now the key here is you use half potato and half cauliflower. That keeps the calorie counts down and it tastes really good. So you sort of hide the cauliflower and mix it in with the potatoes. And we use not butter, but brummel and brown. Again, my favorite butter substitute. We add a little garlic. Give it some nice flavor. We add some fat-free, half and half, no to cream. make it nice and creamy. It's almost like cream, only it doesn't have all the fat and calories. And then a teaspoon of salt, and we are ready to mash it up. Now this is real crumbled bacon, and I use this because it's lower in fat and calories than regular bacon. And yeah. look how much we're using, mm. a lot. Now I know you love your bacon fried rice, but that stuff has 665 calories and 37 grams of fat. A serving of this has less than 120 calories and only four grams of fat. Okay, hope you guys like this. Hey guys, so what'd you think? Really good. Really good. Success? Yeah. yeah. Personally today I learned that you can make food that tastes delicious, that kids will love, that I will enjoy, that doesn't have to have butter, that doesn't have to have cream, that doesn't have to have a lot of calories or fat, and everybody enjoys it. Everyone, give your mom a round of applause. Yay! 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 Kathy's here, she's in our front row of our audience. Please welcome her. After I met Lisa, I thought, okay, I'll go back to my butter. But then, when I, when I was on the plane, I started looking at the ingredients and the calories and the fat, and I thought, I never do this. So I think it has changed me because I'm thinking more about the fat. I'm thinking about the taste, that obviously the taste was just as good as my um, using all the butter and the cream. Yeah. And I was surprised, so it has changed my life so that now I will look more into what I'm using and what I'm cooking and how I'm cooking and she the She turned you into a label reader, doesn't she? She did, absolutely. absolutely. My work is done. All right, <laughs> so now, Lisa's gonna walk us through a couple of little simple swaps, three different swaps from the supermarket aisles, right? What are we gonna look at first? Pumpkin. Now, I'm gonna start over here. I yes. love pumpkin. I love pumpkin. Mm. I think it's like America's best kept secret. I will tell you, using pumpkin instead of eggs and oil when you bake a cake is genius because a regular cake mix calls for a half a cup of oil, three large eggs, that's over 1,100 calories, 125 grams of fat that you're adding to your cake, which is just crazy. Wow. If you swap that out for a can of pumpkin, so you use nothing but the cake mix and one can of pumpkin, you're only adding 145 calories and one gram of fat, and you're also adding a ton of fiber. And you're adding fiber. fiber. Yes. Exactly. Can I taste it? Yes, and it's so good. Uh, yeah, because that, that would be my concern, is that it doesn't, it tastes off. Try it. Tastes like chocolate cake. It tastes like, you don't even taste the pumpkin, which pumpkin tastes good anyhow, but you don't even taste the pumpkin in that. It's delicious, very moist, tastes like chocolate cake. There you go. See, now this is one I could do like that, no problem. Let's see the next example here. Ground beef. Now, if you use ground beef, it's very fatty. A four ounce serving has 300 calories, mm -hmm. 20 grams of fat. But if you swap that out for these soy crumbles, now it's not made with meat, but it tastes exactly like meat. The, ser the difference is crazy, okay? 120 calories, one gram of fat per, per, per wow. four ounce serving. Very, <laughs> very, and clever. it totally works. It's amazing. 
And it's solid protein, right? It's protein. That's Fantastic. Right. What's this one down here? This one my baby brother would be interested in because he loves pepperoni. Pepperoni. Now, pepperoni, people think, all right, if you're watching your fat and calories, you're on a diet, or you're watching what you eat, you can't eat pepperoni. That is so not true. Really? Oh, if you, could, if you just swap it out for turkey pepperoni, the difference is amazing. Again, regular pepperoni, 140 calories, 13 grams of fat for about 17 slices. Turkey pepperoni, 70 calories, 4 grams of fat. Wow. And this one, you actually cannot tell the difference. That's unbelievable. It actually doesn't coat your tongue the same way regular pepperoni yeah, yeah, does. You know, you don't I was get just going to say, I'm not a know. huge fan of pepperoni because it, it does. It's, it's got so much grease in it. I don't find it's it pleasant. I would actually love that. And maybe it turned me into a pepperoni eater.